Holy smokes, guys. I just got absolutely trounced in the last game. I hate playing against the London system. I said it at the beginning, and I still mean it. I had a really good attack going, and then two moves later, I was checkmated. All right, so now we're playing the London system. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So I could have played c4 here, from what I know. I'm going to play it now because he's brought this bishop out. That's another thing I learned recently. What can I say? I was watching the one of the newer series or the newer entries in Amon Hamilton's Grandmaster Teaches the London course or not course, but series on YouTube. And he said if they bring their bishop out too early, you can go ahead and play c4. So now I've got three things. If they play c6, if they bring their knight to c6 before pushing the pawn, or if they bring their bishop out. Now here we have to take, I think. Hmm. I don't want to lose my bishop, so I'm going to go ahead and take that, I guess. Is he debating queen versus pawn? That's really surprising. So, okay. I don't know if that was right or wrong, but I'm really looking at that check. However, he can block it very quickly. Now, if I go ahead and grab the knight, rook takes, now that check cannot be blocked, except with the queen, and then the king has to step forward. Oh, 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 oh. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going for it. He might miss this. Give the check. Please block with your queen. Either, either spot. That would be quite a blunder. He falls for it, and we are going to win the queen. Oh my gosh. Guys, I saw a trap. I saw a trap, and it actually worked. What do you know? Whoo. I feel, honestly, guys, I feel like that's the blitz coming into play. Quick game review. Was my bishop takes knight a brilliant move? I don't think so, but you never know. No, maybe it was a great move. I saw that. Guys, and I'll tell you how I saw that. There was a daily game I played. How long ago was that now? That was a few months ago, I think. But here was the theme. You had to take that knight so that he couldn't come out and block your next check. And it was a totally different position. Totally different position. I already had my knight here, and the idea was that he would put his queen up, and I would jump in with my knight hitting the queen, and then winning a bishop or something. I forget exactly what it was. But the key was you grab that... Oh, gosh, excuse me. Something stuck in my throat today. Anyway, the, the key idea was you grab the knight to get rid of someone who can block the check. And so now the queen is the only one left. And that's the reason why I gave the check with my queen. Because most people think, oh, shoot, well, well I'm going to trade queens. You don't want to move your king if you don't have to. So, yeah, I'll, I'll block and we'll trade. Who cares? Boom. There we go. Oh, you love to see it, guys. You love to see it. But even more importantly, yeah, I didn't play a bad move. This was not like, I hope something's going to happen. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the game. You know, like, <laughs> that's a speculative trap. This was a trap that also was a decent move. See, it's it, we're still winning. We're threatening to win a pawn. Yeah, I didn't even see that, but that is a good point. We're threatening to win a pawn. King has to come forward, I think. Right? Yeah, I think that was the best move. And now we're not even going to win the pawn. <laughs> so after the chess coach guy says, hey, we're threatening to win a pawn. It's like, no, maybe I played the wrong move. King, 
king e7 or king d8. It's very close. Let's look at king d8. Now do I take the pawn? I still don't take the pawn. So apparently we were not threatening to win a pawn. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That is a good point. We are threatening to win a pawn. But anyway, that's enough, guys. I hope you enjoyed that game. I'll see you next time. Bye.